Guys, welcome back to What If Raditz Survived. Where we last left off, Raditz went with Vegeta to Namek to get the Dragon Balls. Now, let's continue. As Vegeta and Raditz both landed, Frieza would look at his scouter and scan where they both are. Frieza would laugh. Oh, them measly sands. They think they could deal with me. Why is that little monkey here? Hmm. Should we dispose of them, Zarbon said? No. Send a couple weaklings to dispose of them. Let's see what they're made of. They would send a couple of Frieza soldiers to attack them. As Frieza stayed trying to get Dragon Balls, suddenly Frieza soldiers would surround them both. As Raditz and Vegeta would both laugh and get ready to fight. As they charged, they flew up into the sky and began to destroy them one by one, blasting them away. And as they did, their power level shot up and Dodoria saw this and he get, began to get scared. As that happened, things ha would happen normally until Dodoria ran into Vegeta because Raditz would also be there. Dodoria would look around and he saw Raditz and Vegeta go, Oh, you two. Well, since I'm here, I think I can let you live if you give me that scouter. Vegeta would laugh and break it. Dodoria would be shocked. Why would you do that? Raditz and Vegeta both looked at him and Raditz says, We don't need that to sense energy anymore. We Saiyans are adapted. We don't need your pathetic scouters to sense things. Dodoro would say, is that so? Well, I don't give a damn. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, yeah. Raditz would then laugh. Oh, Dodoria, you're shaken scared. You've seen our power level on that scouter, didn't you? Dodoro would say, shut up. <laughs> yes, you did. I could probably give you a good fight. I might even win. But Vegeta is the one here who could destroy you. Vegeta and Raditz would both walk towards the door as he would fly away scared then vegeta would grab him and pull on his arms as he said no no let me tell you the truth about planet vegeta it wasn't destroyed by a meteor rats vegeta were both shocked as then he told him that it was destroyed by frieza rats was shocked how could that be we were frieza's most valuable soldiers but vegeta already knew deep down and he went on this whole spiel like in canon and blew him up raditz said did you really know yeah did you not come on raditz Saiyans are a proud group of warriors that could destroy Frieza. He knew that, so he wiped us out like the coward he was. Rat says, I guess. That makes me feel hopeful that we have a chance if he was scared of us. <laughs> of course you have a chance. With me around, I am the prince of all Saiyans, he said. As Vegeta and Raz would then go off and do things like normal. As this was going on, Zarbon would eventually encounter Vegeta. As Raditz hit, they had a plan. Vegeta would get captured, break out, gather all of his Dragon Balls, and Raditz would watch the one Dragon Ball they had. It was foolproof. As Raditz went over and watched the Dragon Ball, something would happen, however. Gohan would come up towards it. He would grab it from the lake, and suddenly Raditz would appear behind him. What are you doing, runt? He looked up, and he says, Oh, it's my nephew! Long time no see, he said laughing. Gohan began to shake, scared. Raditz? Yeah! It's me. <laughs> Aw, shouldn't you be more happy to see your uncle? Although, I don't like it that you're stealing from me. But I did try to kidnap you, so I guess it's fair. Join me now. Join the Saiyan race. And I won't destroy you for stealing from me and Vegeta. Gohan would continue to look up at him and begin to shake, scared. But he could hold on to the dragon and say no. As he flew away, Raz would grab him and throw him to the floor. <laughs> You've gotten a lot stronger, nephew, but so have I. It's a shame, though. If you have that dragon raider, I could become useful, though. Hmm. Raz would decide not to kill him for now, and he would make Gohan take him to Krillin. As Vegeta would break out, he would get all the dragon balls and get the one that he had. He was excited. He could summon the dragon. But as he tried, it didn't work. It seems like he needed a password or something. This pissed Vegeta off. As Vegeta went to Raditz and Raditz had Gohan and Krillin, they were about to execute them. However, something happened. They could feel massive power levels moving here. As Vegeta and Raditz shook scared, they knew what it was. It was the Ginyu Force. As the Ginyu Force arrived on planet Namek, Gohan, Vegeta, Krillin, and Raditz all got ready to fight. As the battle began, Gildo would be killed just like in canon, and Raccoon would start to beat up on Gohan and Krillin and Vegeta. However, Braditz knew he had to do something. He was saving this up for when 
He fought Frieza, but he had to do it now. He threw up an artificial moon. As he became a great ape and charged at Raccoon, he would punch Raccoon to the ground, then Raccoon would punch him. They were both pretty even in the battle. But Raditz knew he had to win. His Saiyan pride, his Saiyan instincts were pumping straight through him. As Raditz would blast a massive key blast straight from his mouth, Raccoon would block it and begin to push against it as he punched it against his face. The battle was epic. Raditz and Raccoon would give it everything they got. Eventually, Raditz would kill Raccoon, but he would be near death, laying down in Zuzaru form. As Berta and Jace were about to step in, suddenly a spaceship would land as Goku came out. Vegeta was still wounded, just like in canon, but not nearly as much, so he decided to give the sensu bean to Raditz, throwing it into his mouth and healing him, as he got up as an Izaru. Goku was then ready to fight the rest, and the whole body swap happens like in canon, he gets thrown into the healing tank. Now we cut to Frieza, as he landed on both of them. Izaru Raditz got ready, as Vegeta and the rest of the team also got ready. Frieza laughed, Oh, you left me a giant monkey to fight. Won't that be interesting? Raditz charged straight at Frieza, punching him. As Frieza got up, he said, Hmm, I really don't like this form. It's so disgusting. As he used the death slicer to cut off his tail and kick him to the floor and blast him with a death beam. Dende would see this and heal him, though. Raditz would get back up and continue to fight Frieza with Vegeta as they would push him to his second form. Suddenly, Piccolo would show up as all three of them would press against them. It seemed like they could win. Frieza was on the back hand, always being pushed back, always on defense. Raditz, Vegeta, Piccolo all felt excited. They felt they could do it. They felt they could win. But suddenly, Frieza would turn to his third form. And this would be so powerful, it would push them all three back as they would blast it with death beam after death beam. Raditz and Vegeta would fall down, barely able to move. As Dende healed him, Frieza saw this as he transformed to his final form. It's time I stop giving you leniency and killed Dende on the spot. And Vegeta and Raditz got up after a massive Zenkai boost and they knew they were the only ones who stood a chance as they both charged at him with everything they had and began to punch him, began to blast key blast after key blast, but Frieza simply looked at them and began to laugh. You pathetic, filthy monkeys. Really think you can defeat me, Frieza, the Emperor of the Universe? You have to be the dumbest people I've ever met. Frieza said as he began to laugh maniacally, as then Frieza began to blast them both into the legs as they both fell down, barely able to stand. They began to wobble as Frieza picked them both up and began to choke them by the neck. As the air went out of their lungs, they felt like it was all over. They were going to die as Frieza blasted through Vegeta's chest and threw him to the floor. And Frieza flew Raditz to the floor, blasting his legs. Frieza would laugh and say, I want you to watch your friend die as you can't do anything, can't even move. Raditz began to sigh as he felt his legs broken. He couldn't do anything. Suddenly, Gakarot would show up. He would watch him bury Vegeta and him look at him. He would say, brother, I'm... Goodbye. I know I haven't really been a brother to you, and you probably hate me, but I just wanted to tell you that I'm proud of you. I know it doesn't matter or mean anything, but I just... Kakarot would say, spare your strength. No! He would hug him. I was always looked down upon. I was always the weakest link. I was always the runt to push around. And I just thought maybe for once that wouldn't be me. But I was a fool. That's all I am, a weak, pathetic runt. But you, you've gotten so strong. You were never like that. How? Tell me how. Goku would smile and say, because I had friends who didn't treat me like that. And that's all you really needed, was a good friend. As Raditz would laugh as he began to bleed out and die. As... Raditz would be brought back. He would look around excited. He can't believe it was actually brought back by someone. That someone actually cares about him. Later, he would be transported to Earth. As everyone was talking, Raditz just got excited as he flew off and hid somewhere on Earth. Raditz needed to get off Earth as soon as possible. He would ask Boma to leave. Raditz needs some time alone, some time to train, some time to get better, and some time to achieve Super Saiyan himself. 
He did have a good cry and hugged his brother, but he realized something. Everyone hates him here. He can't have a life here. And villainy is all he knows, so it's not like he was going to change his ways. At least not yet. And he knew that he couldn't do it. So Raditz decided that he had to leave as soon as possible. He would visit now again and see his nephew and things, but for now he needed some alone time. So that's what he did. He trained on the planet and waited to get Dr. Breeze to make him another spaceship. And that's going to leave things off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you think of the video down below. Peace out.